Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Krista. I know it has been quite a while since we've seen each other, but I want you to know that I have been thinking about you and hoping that you have been reading lots of books and building lots of different things and making up new songs and running around outside as much as you can. Oh, and I hope you've really been listening very well to your parents. Uh, well, today's book is a new book I've never read before. Um, it just came in the mail today. I'm very excited. And the reason why I picked this book is because one of my very special students asked for a book about tractors. Hmm, who could it be? Mason. So here you go. Today we have The Rusty Trusty Tractor, written by Joy Cowley. Ready to start? Okay, here we go. On the cover, you can see there's that, the tractor, and there's Micah, and that looks like a chicken. Ooh, perfect, Mason. There's even a cat on the cover, huh? The Rusty Trusty Tractor, written by Joy Cowley and illustrated by Olivier Dunray. Ooh, that name is kind of awesome. When Mr. Hill saw Grandpappy's tractor, he laughed fit to bust his britches. Woohoo! he cried, slapping his knees. You call that a tractor? Mike looked up at Grandpappy to see what he was thinking, but Grandpappy was not letting on. Mr. Hill ding-donged with his knuckles on the rusty engine cover and the spaghetti can that hung over the exhaust pipe. He kicked the old cracked tires. Well, this won't last another season, he said. Do yourself a favor, sir. Come on down to Hill's Tractor Sales and look at some new machines. Micah leaned against Grandpappy's leg, but Grandpappy just scratched his neck and said, I don't know, Mr. Hill. Me and this rusty, trusty tractor have been together 50 years. Ever since my old plow horse died, we know each other real good. I'm not hankering to go looking at shiny new tractors. No harm in looking, said Mr. Hill. Micah tugged a handful of Grandpappy's overalls. Please, please. Grandpappy looked down and smiled. Well now, maybe just a peek won't hurt that much. You won't regret it, sir said Mr. Hill, shaking Grandpappy's hand up and down like a pump handle. Hill's tractor sales covered half a block. Micah had never seen so many tractors all in one place. There were big ones, small ones, red ones, yellow ones, some with plows, some with buckets, some with forks, and some with diggers. Mr. Hill showed Grandpappy a big red tractor with a cab like a truck. Got a carp in there, said Mr. Hill. Got heating and air conditioning. Well, mine's got air conditioning too, said Grandpappy. When the air gets too fresh, I put on another jacket. Look, said Mr. Hill. Stereo music. I whistle. Grandpappy said. Mr. Hill showed them the big fancy dancy engine, but Grandpappy was not interested. He said, when my old tractor won't go, I fix it myself with a bit of wire. None of this electronic fiddle daddle. Mr. Hill was not real pleased that Grandpappy did not want one of his shiny new tractors, but Mr. Hill was not a man to give up easy. How much grass you reckon on sowing this spring for hay? He asked. Twenty acres, Grandpa said. Well, sir, I know that you are not a betting man, but I'll give you a jelly donut for every acre if your tractor gets through the season. But if it doesn't, oh, it will, said Grandpappy. If it doesn't, said Mr. Hill. You come on back to Hill's tractor sales. That's all I ask. Come early spring when they were setting up for plowing, Micah said, You know, Grandpappy, this old tractor sure is hard to start. 
Just like me, said Grandpappy. I'm hard to start when it's cold and damp. Sure is rusty, Micah said. I know how that feels. My knees got so much rust, some days they need an oil can. Then Grandpappy looked at Micah. Boy, you aren't trying to sweet talk me into buying a new tractor. Micah quickly shook his head. Good, because this is my old friend, and friends don't let each other down. You remember that. The ground was still cold when Grandpappy plowed those 20 acres. The tractor crawled along, chug, 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 just like an old fishing boat, brown waves curling up behind the plow. Seagulls followed, looking for bugs and worms. Plowing took most of three days, but when Grandpappy finished, the field was a strong brown sea with waves as straight as ruler lines. Grandpappy stuffed a sack with straw because the seat cushion was worn out. We got a long way to go yet, he said. The lumpy earth was smoothed out, and the steel blades of the harrows cut up the soil nice and fine, ready for sowing. And then Micah helped Grandpappy with the seed drill. Grassy went in the small hopper. Fertilizer went in the big one. Chug, chug, chug. Micah hung on the fence and watched as the rusty old tractor pulled the seed drill round and round. Grass seed and grass food dropped into the little furrows. Now, it's up to Mother Earth, Grandpappy said. The sun shone, warm spring rains fell, and green leaves sprouted on the poplar trees. Grandpappy, Grandpappy, come and see. Sure enough, the field was showing rows of new grass as fine and soft as baby's hair. The rest of spring came through at a gallop. There were tadpoles in the creek and birds nest in the barn. The grass in the field grew tall and thick. Roses bloomed, strawberries ripened. Grandpappy dug his first crop of new potatoes. Now the grass was as high as the bib of Micah's overalls. Mr. Hill paid a visit. Good crop of hay, he said, but I tell you plain and simple, no way is that tractor going to tow a hay baler. It just don't have the horsepower. Now is the time to think about a new model. What do you say? Grandpa gave a slow, soft smile. Well, I say I'm mighty partial to jelly donuts. <laughs> the first run of fine weather, Grandpappy sharpened the blades of the old mower. Micah helped him bolt the mower onto the tractor. Chug, chug, chug. As the tractor went by, the tall grass fell and lay flat on the ground. In a couple of days, said Grandpappy, we'll turn it with a hay rake to help it dry. The morning Grandpappy got out the baler, the weather forecast changed. Thunderstorms tomorrow, Grandpappy said. Wet hay is good for nothing hay. We've got to get ourselves cracking. What if the tractor breaks down? Grandpappy shrugged. We lose 20 acres of hay and 20 jelly donuts. Oh, worse things have happened. But I tell you now, boy, real friends are there when you need them. And my old tractor won't break down. Mr. Hill was partways right. The tractor was not big enough for the baler. But Grandpappy, he talked to it like it was his favorite horse. He called it Old Partner and whistled songs to it. And that rusty, trusty tractor shuddered across that field, dragging the big bailing machine. Sweet-smelling grass got scooped up, rolled and tied, and spat out again in hay bales weighing 500 pounds. The rolls fell down with a thump that shook the earth under Micah's feet. Look at Micah. He's sitting up on one of those hay bales. The storm broke that evening. Rain came out of the sky like water from a fire hose, but every bit of hay was wrapped in bales, snug and dry. Micah and Grandpappy were in the kitchen cooking up some corn chowder when the screen door rattled. They found Mr. Hill on the porch, as wet as a new caught catfish and carrying a box of jelly donuts. I hereby declare you the winner, 
Mr. Hill said to Grandpappy. Though I don't know how you did it with that antique bucket of rust. Wang a dang, sir, you got more luck than a hound dog in a butcher shop. Mr. Hill said goodnight and went off into the rain. But before Grandpappy and Micah had gotten to taste the first donuts, the tractor man was back on the porch. Wetter now than a heap of catfish, his feet dirty up to his knees, he wiped the water out of his face. Excuse me, it seems like I got a problem. My, um, car, it's stuck in the mud. Micah looked at Grandpappy and waited. Grandpappy was real polite. No problem, Mr. Hill. Me and my grandson and my old tractor will get you out in no time at all. And would you believe it? As cold and damp as it was, that rusty, trusty old tractor started up on the very first try. And there we have Micah and the rusty, trusty tractor. And there's that chicken. Looks like Micah's waving goodbye to us. Bye, Micah. The end. I hope you all really enjoyed that story. I sure did. Thank you, Mason, for requesting a book for us. If anyone else would like to request one, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Well, I'm so glad you could join me for story time today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Y'all take care and I hope I see you really soon. Love you. Mwah.